So we're here in Willapa Bay and we're studying broadnose seven gill sharks. Uh, sharks play really important roles in ecosystems around the world. However, very little has been done north of central California to study sharks' roles in the Pacific Northwest. We're here in Willapa Bay where they show up in the summertime um, and we're looking for them so we can collect samples to determine their foraging ecology as well as their movement. So there's a lot of management that happens here in the Pacific Northwest. There's a lot of work that goes into managing salmon and halibut and Dungeness crab, keeping track of these populations, where they're going, are they healthy? And so sharks play a role in those ecosystems as well. Um, however, we just don't know a lot about what they're doing here. And so our research is kind of filling in that gap to understand like where the sharks are, what they're eating, and how they impact those fisheries, such as salmon, such as Dungeness crab, so the conservation research that we do is really important because we're utilizing those resources, but if we want those to be available for future generations, we need to make sure that we maintain them at a level that's harvestable, but also healthy. So that's what our research is trying to do, is inform us about how do we maintain the balance of those two things. A lot of those fisheries also have impacts on local culture and indigenous cultures. And so I wanted to bring in indigenous students who might be interested in shark research or fish research in general to get them in the field with us, working with sharks, and get them experience. Uh, my name is Cree. I'm a third year at OSU. Uh, I'm from Lummi Nation, which is up in northern Washington. Uh, my name is Jesse Juanita. Uh, my major is Fish and Wildlife, and I'm a third year at Oregon State. Uh, I'm from the Warm Springs tribe. So we have caught here a, uh, a broad-nosed seven-gill shark. Um, this is a uh, medium-sized male, about 170 centimeters, and um, we've tagged it with a ploy tag so we can identify it in the future. And uh, we've taken muscle and um, fin clips from it, and we've also tagged it with an acoustic tag. So as we release it back into the bay, uh, we can track it over the next 10 years as it moves in within the bay and outside of the bay along the Pacific coast.